Good morning. Welcome to uh, uh, just a brief video on what you may not have known about Easter. Something interesting. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The chocolate bunny. The, the, the rooster. Oh, no, the chicken. Oh, that lays eggs. Or peeps. <laughs> and more peeps. Oh, and balloons. We got to blow up the balloons. And Easter egg hunt. Everybody loves an Easter egg hunt. Maybe a Pez dispenser. Hmm. Anything chocolate's good, right? <laughs> well, I just wanted to talk to you what you may not have known about Easter that goes way back to when, uh, around when Jesus was here on earth. It's from a uh, historical book written by a guy, Flavius Josephus. He wrote a um, chronicled, he's kind of like the, uh, uh, the modern day Wikipedia for back then. He wrote just all the history of like the Roman Empire, all these things of, that were going on in that area and, and chronicalized it. Is that a word? Chronicalized, I don't know. Put it all in a, in a book that you can, uh, I don't know where you can, I guess you can order it online somewhere and get it, but you can research it. But it's interesting just to show the historicity of Jesus because so many things today, they, they uh, discount uh, Jesus. Was, was he really even ever here? Uh, short of reading, reading it from the Bible, uh, you can read it in there and it talks about Jesus. But um, the, the, I need to read to you an excerpt. I took a picture of it. Uh, on Flavius Josephus. Josephus was not, he, he was a, a historian, uh, a high-ranking military commander. It says, now, there was about this time Jesus, a wise man, if it, to be, if it be lawful to call him a man, for he was a doer of wonderful works, a teacher of such men as received the truth with pleasure. He drew over to him both many of the Jews and many of the Gentiles. There were two separate people. The, the Jews didn't really want anything to do with the Gentiles, but he reached, out, he reached out to everybody. He was the Christ. And when Pilate, that was a, a Roman leader of the day, at the suggestion of the principal men amongst us had condemned him to the cross, those that loved him at the first did not forsake him, for he appeared to them alive again the third day, parentheses, after the, the crucifixion. For he appeared to them alive again the third day, as the divine prophets had foretold these and 10,000 other wonderful things concerning him and the tribe of Christians, so named from him, are not extinct at this day. So this is a historical reinforcement of the fact that Jesus was on this earth, that he died, he was crucified, pretty, uh, pretty awful crucifixion, and being put in a tomb, and then three days later, coming back alive, and over 500 people saw him after he had come back alive. Uh, people talked with him and so on. So um, what's, what's the big deal of this? Why, why, would, why does that even matter that he was crucified and that he rose again three days later? So I'd like to just go over it with you a couple of things. Sorry, the, the Easter egg hunt's gonna have to wait just for a minute. I, I love doing an Easter egg hunt, but I, I really don't want it to detract from what Easter is all about. So here we go. Um, I just want to draw a little illustration. My, my pastor actually drew this. It's pretty interesting. So if you picture, have you ever been to the Grand Canyon out, out west? It's like jagged, rocky. It's like, it's like 10 miles. 
I've, I've never been there. I'd really like to go sometime. It's like 10 miles across here. But if you could picture per, uh, us here, here's my stick figures, how do you like that? <laughs> Standing there and picture this being heaven. And you had no means of getting over here by like train, plane, bus, taxi cab, anything except jumping. How far do you think you could get? The, so the reason there's this great divide is because of our sin nature. I don't know, there's not a person on this earth that has never not sinned. If you think it in your heart, that's you have sinned. Um, as perfect as you try to be, just that's just not a possibility. So because of that, God being perfect um, desires for us to have a relationship, but there's this gap. There's no way to come across because, so basically because because God is perfect, we are not. Because all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's in uh, Romans three twenty three. So what? Heaven is it's an eternal place. It's it's not like it's when when we die. What happens if it? You, you may think you just had, you know, you're, you're buried, put in the ground, and that, that's it. Well, for those that believe that, I hope they're right. I'd rather believe what I believe and be, and know that I have a, uh, a way to get to heaven after this life. And that's, that's my great hope. And that is, I mean... Uh, I guess there's nothing I value more than that aspect of, of the hope of going to heaven. Um, so another thing, so the, the wages of sin is death. Like if you try to, to jump all the way over to there because you, you can't make it, that's, that's as far as you're going to get. Fortunately, the gift is eternal life, and it's free. There's no, no charge for that. But how, what is that? What is the, the, how do you get there? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, woman, child, comes to me, except, uh, comes to God, except through Jesus. Paraphrase of a, another verse in the book of Romans, that's in the New Testament of the Bible. There's the Old Testament and the New Testament. Um, so, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Back then, the followers of Jesus were called the way. That's kind of interesting. So uh, in the Old Testament, in, in, a, in a means of um, atoning for your sin, you would do an animal sacrifice. That's the way it was set up in the Old Testament. To end all of that, God sent Jesus to take the place of all that, those sacrifices so that it wasn't necessary to continually keep doing that. So it was uh, by, because Jesus died, was buried, and rose again, um, he conquered death. And in, his, in your place, he will uh, take that sin on him. Therefore, giving you, through Jesus, a free ride to heaven. So that's, that's what I believe. That's um, probably not explained very well. I'm not a, uh, uh, what am I not? I'm not good at explaining some things sometimes. This, uh, however, is something that is passionate with me. And um, it's just by faith that I believe what I believe. So this is just a short little... Uh, overview of, of what I believe on this special occasion, Easter being the real meaning of, of Easter was about Jesus Christ. Okay, so thanks for hanging with me. Really appreciate it. Have a great day. Hey, check out the Bible. There's, there's a lot of helps that you can find.
that will show you much better than what I just tried to explain. Okay, see you later.